So, page 95, and uh, actually the final page of chapter 9. And we left the page previously with, with Shirley looking out over the island and all the fishes and the birds and everything. And Wendy had approached. Hail, smiling morn, Shirley, whispered her pal. Oh, hail, smiling morn, Shirley, whispered her pal. Why whispered? Early, I suppose, the packs might still be sleeping. I say, how marvellous it all looks. Look at that lagoon. We simply must have a swim at once. Come on, girl, what about it? The only way to start this glorious day is to take a flying leap into bikinis. Well, that good for you, Wendy. Yes, this sounds great. Hello, hello, who's speaking our thought aloud? Our thought. Again, it should be thoughts. Again, with this weird singular thing. The faces of the two air hostesses grew radiant. <laughs> Doing my best. This was all that was needed to give the dawn perfection. Tony Luckworth and Stephen Marlowe were approaching the doorway from beneath the constellation's wing. Okay. Great minds ever think alike, grinned Tony. Great minds ever think alike. Stephen and I had just decided to do the very same thing. We're just finishing our spell on guard and we can watch over the sleeping packs just as well whilst wallowing in water's cool. Can you though? Come on, it'll freshen us all up, race you to it. Well, yeah, because they, they just survived virtually a plane crash. You think you need a freshen up. So keen were all four to plunge into the enticing lagoon that the race to get ready ended in a dead heat. They ran together down the gold. Like Judith worries about things that no that there's no put that nobody cares about. They ran together down the golden beach towards actually it says two ways. They ran together down the golden beach to ways, the alluring, lazily lapping surf. <laughs> Come on, bikinis and everything. Then suddenly here we go. Tony stopped dead, staring out across the lagoon with a with a face, gr Judith's just given up. <laughs> with a face grown grim. Hold it, troops, he cried. Hold it, troops. Our swim is off, definitely. Look out there, beyond the reef, and tell me if you can that I'm seeing things. Shirley stared out to sea, and her heart missed a beat. Um. A monster war canoe, crowded with golden brown skinned natives, was emerging from out of the sun's fiery pathway, heading for a gap in the coral reef which divided the lagoon from the open sea. Dot, dot, dot. I feel this is the stage at which this terrible book goes from just like stupid to like really horrible 